Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my VE Day bunting. So as you can see already, I've cut out some triangles from some card. I actually used some Quaker oats, you can just recycle any materials. And because it's me, I've painted it white so then the paint will apply, so then the paint shows up a little bit better. So I've drawn the Union Jack on one piece of bunting and then I'm going to do the same for another one, so then I end up with two Union Jacks. So VE Day stands for Victory in Europe and this has been celebrated every year since 1945 on the 8th of May. This day remembers when Nazi Germany surrendered their army and so began the end to nearly six years of war. So the Union Jacks are done and I really love them, looking very homemade and I'm going to move on to do a poppy. So it was on this day that a great deal of celebrations took place across Europe and North America. In London, over a million people were there celebrating. And it was on that day that Winston Churchill did his famous V sign. So that is the poppy done. I really like that one, that's looking really good. And because it is the 75 year anniversary, I cut out a seven and a five from some gold card and some stars as well. So I'm going to stick those down onto them. So the 8th of May this year is the 75th anniversary of when Nazi Germany finally accepted defeat. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're moving forward. I've got my two Union Jacks, my 275 banners, I've got my poppy, and so my next one, I'm actually going to do like a sunset in the background, and then I'm going to do a black silhouette of a soldier on top. It is estimated that over 20 million soldiers died in World War II. So whilst the sunset one is drying, I'm starting on my next one, which is the classic V for victory sign, um, popularised by Winston Churchill during the war. So I'm just going to paint that and then hopefully this will be dry and I can crack on with that one. Okay, so my bunting is all done. I've added in little tiny gold ones. And for the spare two I had left over, I just wrote victory in Europe day, which is what it's all about. So now it comes to putting it all together. So you are going to need to hole punch two holes in each of your bunting pieces. Now, if you do not have a hole puncher, it is possible to do it with a pair of scissors, but you'll definitely need some adult help. Be wary of where you are punching your holes because if you punch them too close to the top here, sorry I'm covered in paint, then your string when we start attaching it is just going to fall out and it'll be limping all over. Okay so I have holes punched in all of my bunting and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a piece of thread, you can use string, whatever you fancy, whatever you have lying around, and I'm going to start it off with the first piece and I'm going to go in, so I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go down. So it's a bit like sewing. So I'm going to go up and down and then we have that secure fastening there. And then you thread on your next piece as well. So I'm going to go in, I can find the hole. Up and down like that. And then you can just thread them down a bit more. Then I'm going to continue with, with the others. So typical celebrations for VU Day are the infamous street parties where communities would come together, share a bit of lunch, have music and dancing and all round a really good time. Okay, so once you are done you should have something looking like this. All I did was tie the ends off in a loop. You can get an adult to show you that. And because I know that this is the middle piece here, all I've done is added another loop so then it can sit in the tallest place. So all now we have to do is hang it up. So as you can see, I've put the bunting up here. So it's all hanging across at the front of the gate. And it's all really nice just until the wind blows it. But even so, this is the bunting done. And yeah, it would really brighten up the street if you guys could get some. So I'll see you in the next video.